Shout hallelujah. Yeah, ni kaki hallelujah. If you are sure that you are going to begin to enjoy your jubilee from now on, shout hallelujah. Go back. Go back there, Lord, you can't wait to be there. Sini magbado, adu idasilet, yeah, ki hallelujah. I want you to lift your hands to the Most High God and begin to bless His holy name. Because it's about to do something special for you tonight. Give Him glory, give Him honor. Give Him adoration. He's worthy to be praised. He's worthy to be adored. Give him glory. If you go full. Praise him. Let him hear you. Praise him. Give him glory. Give him honor. If you go at your lap. Give him adoration. Bless him. He is worthy to be praised. There's no one like him. Give him glory. Give him glory. Give him glory. Thank him, thank him. He's worthy to be praised. Give him glory. Thank you, Father. Bye bye, Shion. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. And then lift our voice to him. Loud and clear. I said, Father, surprise me tonight. Go ahead, pray. Cry unto him. Father, surprise me tonight. Baba, ya mileno lalei. Give me a pleasant surprise tonight. O mini ori ofe agbayano loni. Give me a pleasant surprise tonight. Oluwa ya mileno lono ara lalei. Thank you, Father. Bye bye, Shion. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Ni Orukola, Jesu Lagbadura. What a mighty God. We serve, hallelujah, what a mighty God. We serve, hallelujah, heaven and earth adore, even angels bow before him. What a mighty God we serve. We are serving him, what a mighty God. We serve, hallelujah, what a mighty God. We serve, hallelujah, heaven and earth adore, even angels bow before. What a mighty God we serve. I am 
am serving him, what a mighty God. I serve Hallelujah, what a mighty God. I serve Hallelujah, heaven and earth adore, even angels bow before. What a mighty God we serve. Hallelujah for the Lord God, omnipotent reign. Hallelujah, hallelujah, praise the Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah. For the Lord God omnipotent reign. Hallelujah, Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Hallelujah, Hallelujah, for the Lord God omnipotent reign. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah, for the Lord God, only potent rain. Hallelujah, hallelujah, praise the Lord. Ancient of days, the one who has no beginning and no ending, the Lord of hosts, the King of glory, the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the ending, the one who was, the one who is, the one who is to come, the Almighty, the God of the redeemed Christian Church of God. We bless your holy name. Accept our thanks in Jesus' name. Thank you for 70 years of your favor. Thank you for mighty things you have done in this mission. Thank you for what you are doing right now. Thank you for 40 years of convention on this campground. Thank you for days of small beginnings. Thank you because we know you are taking us yet a, a lot higher. Thank you for all those who are here tonight. Thank you for those who are connected to us all over the world. Accept our thanks in Jesus' name. Tonight, Father, glorify your name. Do what you alone can do. Let everybody live here this morning with a new testimony. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Amen. Well, let someone shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. You, you will shake and we two or three people. But all the way to be met. And repeat the prophecy of yesterday. Tell your neighbor. I will get the first miracle. And then it will be your turn. I will get the first miracle. And then it will be your turn. If you believe that, then shout hallelujah. And then you may be seated except those born in the month of August. If you are born in the month of August, let me hear you shout hallelujah. 
Father, I want to thank you for your children born in the month of August. The month of August is the month of a new beginning. In every area of their lives, let there be a new beginning. A new beginning of joy, of success, of progress, of divine health, of promotion, of anointing, of a determination to serve God. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen. Amen. So children of God shout another hallelujah. Amen. Uh, next month is It's a very special month. Uh, it's the month set aside for those who are trusting God for the fruit of the womb. And the theme next month is going to be covenant keeping God. And then in December Congress, God has given me the theme double portion. Hallelujah. And then for the convention of next year, if the Lord chooses to tarry, He has given us the theme Beyond Expectations. Amen. So get ready for greater things ahead. Oh, glory be to God. Now, last year some people came trusting God for the fruit of the womb. And now the baby has come. Uh, it is a custom that they will bring forth the children so we can pray for them. Then some came two years ago. Uh, they were in contact with us through uh, the internet. They were trusting God for the fruit of the womb. By last year, they were already pregnant. But we said we will wait till the baby is arrived. So if you fall into either of these two categories, and your children are here now, please bring them forward so that we can pray for them. And as they were, as they are coming. Uh, I will ask the television people to please show me the people in the old arena. I want to see whether they can hear me very well. If you can hear me, just wave your hand. Please show me as many of them as you can. That's the old auditorium. If you are hearing me very well, wave your hand. Just keep on waving. Keep waving. Keep waving. Glory be to God. Well, I might not be able to hear you, but those of you in the old arena, let me hear you shout a big hallelujah to God. 
at least I'm sure God can hear you. <laughs> All right. Hallelujah. Those in the old arena. Take forward your children also. Move to the altar. The prayer here will reach you there. Glory be to God. Now both of the people in the old and in the new. Let me hear you shout a big hallelujah to God. Hallelujah. While we are waiting for the children that have been brought forward, even though we will be rejoicing with them very soon, to save time, I want to share one good news with you. Today, God has added 15 more children to us. And today the guests seem to be. Six boys and nine girls. I want six boys and nine girls. So the total number now stands at sixty-seven. Forty-one boys. Twenty-six girls. And we had another set of twins today. One boy and one girl. So I think today we will ask the sister to shout praise the Lord. And let the boy shout hallelujah. All right, the children are coming. From far and near, and while they are on the way, please let the band sing for them. And let's join them in rejoicing. Because the Bible says we are to rejoice with those who rejoice. Go ahead, band. You've done so much for me. I cannot tell it all. Narekele, narekele, mo. You've done so much for us. Oh, we cannot tell it all. Narekele.
Many see coming, just keep coming, keep coming. Oh, brethren, I just want you to take a look at what, what I am seeing. See the homes where there used to be sorrow, but now there is joy. I love children. Because my father in heaven loves them. If I had my way, I would have had 12 of my own. But uh, what I couldn't have biologically, I can now have. And I have some very good news for those of you who are still trusting God for the fruit of the womb. My daddy was talking to me in my prayer room overnight. Son, what do you want for this uh, Jubilee celebration? Ah, Daddy, I want children. Daddy, me, a money move. How many do you want? Me, Lulu, fair. I say it's a uh, 70th anniversary. Money, or I don't know, I don't really. 70,000 children will be okay. You okay? And then he said, Oh, I can watch a week. But you're also celebrating 40 years of being on this camp. Daddy, said, Daddy, why we pay? Add 40 to 70. He said, I will release a hundred and ten thousand Jubilee children. Amen. 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 Into those wombs that are considered barren. And you will see them at the next convention. I thought somebody will be excited. I thought somebody will.
Now you could see what he had already done. Right here in front of us. And I'm sure more, even in the old arena. See how good God can be. Look at that, thousands upon thousands of new born babies. What a great God we serve. Our mission by the grace of God is a mission where God multiplies. And very soon, there will be nothing called barrenness in our midst. Amen. If you agree with me, please say amen loud and clear. Now I want you to please stretch your hands to all these children and pray for them. Pray that God will bless them, that he will protect them from evil, that no sickness will come near them, that no death will come near them, that our joy over them will last forever. Please pray for them. Intercede for them. And those who don't have, you will come very soon. Thank you, Father. And so, my Father and my God, I just want to say thank you. These are miracles that cannot be denied. These are miracles that cannot be manipulated. Thank you for granting my desire to have more and more children. Please accept our thanks in Jesus' name. Bless these children. Lay your mighty hands on them. Keep sickness away from them. Keep death away from them. Keep demons away from them. Let them grow up to become mighty vessels unto honor in your hands. And let our joy over them last forever. And those who are still trusting you for the fruit of the womb, by next year, let them be here carrying their babies. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Amen. Congratulations. You can dance back to your position now. Let's, let's have something we can dance to, please. Come and join me, sing hallelujah. has done me well
quickly go to the word of God and, and share one or two things God will want us to share. But before I do that, I want to make an appeal. This year's convention had uh, revealed something new. You know, we've never We've not met like this since uh, the coronavirus came. And we discovered that uh, we've run out of accommodation. In fact, it is obvious now that even if we build a thousand dormitories between now and next year, it's not going to be enough. But we will try our best. And so I am appealing for your support. If you would like to give something to us the building of new dormitories. If you are right, we will deeply appreciate it. You know do. Gidi gidi. And whatever you give, God will accept it. Onko unte bani lati file alone ante wakba. Even if it starts from. One thousand naira and continues to about ten billion. Go back to the sea, a beru compare, titi the million be mewa, let's be ready. If you are sending it by cash, go back to the wool, if you don't share, right at the back of it, a course, I could wait ever if you will not see. Dormitory projects, say, you are right by the Josie. If you are sending it by check, go back to the wool, so we do wool, if you look. Right at the back of the check, dormitory projects. You don't have to write it down, it's between you and God. But the Almighty God will surprise you pleasantly. I uh, told my people what we have is a good problem. And I want to decree to somebody. Very soon you'll be having good problems. Leviticus chapter 25. From verse 9 to 10. Leviticus 25, 9 to 10. Then shalt thou cause the trumpet of the Jubilee to sound on the tenth day of the seventh month. In the day of atonement shall ye make the trumpet sound throughout all your land. And ye shall hallow the fiftieth year and proclaim liberty throughout all the land unto all the inhabitants thereof. It shall be a jubilee unto you, and ye shall return every man unto his possession, and ye shall return every man unto his family. Here, ye 
ni ile na fun gogo awon tin gbe inu re yo si ma je jubeli fun yin ki eyin ki o si pada olukuruku si ile ni re ki olukuruku yin ki o si pada sinu idile re As we have been learning since the convention began, we are thinking collectively about it. I do not think better. Jubilee is basically made up of two things. I do it. That's it. Let us make it. Let us be in order. Restoration. You move by the bosipo. And a new beginning. I think better or two. Restoration means. You had something. In that part, then two months you will feel it. Then you lost it. Then you lost it. Oh, what so no love or rare? And then you got it back. Oh, what to read back part? And everything, every good thing you have lost. Oh, go go to your dara. It's your thing, but I know you will regain today in Jesus' name. Amen. Go go and you are read back part. Lord, you don't recall Jesus. Now I'm, I'm going to be very quick because I want you to have time to pray. Mo mi o ma yara kankan nitori mo fe ke ni asiko lati gbadura. Man is a trinity. Eniyan o je meta lokan. First Thessalonians chapter 5. You were Thessalonica kini ori kanrun. Verse 23. Ese iketa le ni ogun. First Thessalonians 5:23. Thessalonica kini ori kanrun. Ese iketa le ni ogun. Say, O we pray. You are made up of spirit, soul, and body. We a yini ara okan ati emi. You are a trinity. Ni tori na e yina je meta lokan. Ah, a spirit. E wo je emi. You have a soul. To ni okan. And you are living in a body. Ti o si gbe ninu ago ara. For jubilee to be perfect, therefore, ni tori na ti odun idasile o le je pipe. It must affect your body. O ni lati nipa lori ara re. Affect your soul. Nipa ni lori okan re. And affect your spirit. Ati nipa lori emi re. Now when we talk about body, nipa ti a ban so nipa ti ago ara. Body can be spelt out in some in some special departments. Agora o pisi ori keri ke flesh ni pat erara bones ego go blood eje esetira ati be be lo. So when we talk about jubilee. Nipa ti ba nso nipa ti odun idasile yi in the physical nipa ti ara afojuri a very good example will be Neman en apere to dre wa o na ni okunrin kan ti an pe ni Neman in second king chapter 5 you know we are back ji ori kanrun from verse 1 to 14 ese kini de ikerin la second king chapter 5 ese o back ji ori kanrun Verse one to fourteen. We heard the story of a general. Akboni pati okuni jagun jagun oluri ogukon. Who had everything? Oni ongo boti oni ti ani except good health. Afi ara ilera nikon. Now Neman was not born a leper. He said, "I will be leman in Gegebi Adete." He was once healthy. Nikba kuri ara repe. But then leprosy came. But his jubilee came. To go and do it. That's it. Let it. When he had contact with the God of jubilee. Nipa ti oni ba she po kwe ni olorun jubilee. He was sick. Oti isha isan. Then he became well. Ara resi ya. And he didn't just become well. He said, "We are a reckon yani koni." The Bible says, "The healing he got gave him an opportunity to start afresh." Oponi ori ofe la ti bere ni akoto. His flesh came back to him. 
like that of a newborn baby. And I'm standing on the authority of the word of God. That by the time God finishes with you tonight, there will be no evidence that you had been sick before. When I was a lecturer at the University of Illinois, I was a lawyer. And I used to have students who were young. Very, very brilliant. And then he began to suffer headache. And before we knew it, yes, it took, we got to fall. It began to wither. The hands could no longer function. At a stage, he couldn't, the legs, everything went. Only the brain remained. And so he couldn't go to court. They will take a case, they will bring a case to him. He will be lying on the, on the bed, dictating how the case is to be handled to a subordinate. He was healthy before. He lost it. And then one day, the Almighty God moved in. And in the trickling of an eye, he was completely whole again. I decree to somebody here today, before the sun rises, there will be no sign that you have been sick before. Let me jump on to when we're still talking about physical, talking about body, then we need to look at material. We want to look at jubilee material. It means Somebody had it before, had plenty before. And then he lost it. And then God restored it. A classical example would be Job. If you read Job chapter 1, Job chapter 1, there was a time Job had 7,000 sheep. Three thousand camels, five hundred oxen, Malu, Malu, okay, and five hundred asses, and then something happened. And then one day he lost it all. But then the time came. In, in Job chapter 42, verse 12, Job 22, 42, verse 12, God restored. And then he now had 14,000 sheep, 6,000 camels, 1,000 oxen, 1,000 asses. Everything you have lost financially, as my God lives, even before the end of this month, you will get them back. Some of you have heard this story before. 
that there was a man who had a quarrel with his wife because he didn't know the kind of woman he married. He had 14 cars. And then the wife said to him, during the quarrel, that she will see to it that the husband will trek in Lagos. The husband laughed at her. I have 14 cars. How can I ever trek? But within a couple of months, because everything began to crumble. Only one car remained. And he had 50 cobble in his pocket. And he said to himself, because he was hungry, and 50 cobble was some money in those days. <laughs> if I buy food with this money, when I run out of petrol, then I will trek like my wife said. And he made up his mind. I think it is time to go to God. He came to a Buddha Meta. Surrendered his life to God. God took over. The day he was sharing his testimony, he has just built two mansions in Lagos. I don't know who I'm talking to. The Almighty God will take over your situation now. And whatever the enemy has stolen from you financially, before the end of this month, you will testify. And then, when we talk about the body, we need to talk about the marital. Thank you, Father. Oh, thank you, Daddy. The Lord asked me to tell someone. Medicine has no answer to your situation. But I will give you the answer. Thank you, Daddy. Daddy is show. Daddy asked me to tell someone. Daddy Nikki software in the Your barrenness is not natural. The source of it is only swing. He saw one very close. The Lord asked me to tell you. The one responsible for your barrenness. will We be buried next month. So when we are talking about the marital, a good example will be Second Kings chapter four. From verse eight to thirty-seven. Oh, thank you, Lord. Amen. The Lord asked me to tell someone. 
your victory this time round will be permanent. Yeah, I know, I know, I know this is going to be a special night. The Lord asked me to tell someone. He said to you, it seems as if you have come to the end of the road. He asked me to tell you. The road before you will be widened. Will be made smooth. And it will be straight. If you are the one, I think you should shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Second King chapter 4 from verse 8 to 37 it tells us the story of the Shunammite woman she wasn't looking she was no longer looking for a child she just saw a man of God passing by and just wanted to bless the servant of God. And then the man of God came coming. And this woman decided, I will go beyond feeding him, I will build a house for him. And then she became pregnant at the decree of the man of God. Let me stand as a representative of God. And decree to all of you who have been generous towards your pastors. Whatever money cannot buy, receive it in Jesus' name. So this woman became pregnant and had a child. And she was glad. And then the devil came in and kill the boy. Daddy asked me to prophesy to somebody listening to me. Daddy so as Every plan of the devil to steal from your family. is already foiled. Anyway, devil came and stole the son. But the woman got it back. That's the meaning of restoration. She had it. She lost it. And got it back. And when we are talking about a situation like this in the family, you will remember the testimony of a sister was barren for years. Husband was wealthy. They've gone everywhere. Finally, one professor did a very special test. And discovered that the woman had no ovaries. And called the husband. 
Why are you wasting your time? This woman is not even producing eggs for you to fertilize. Forget about it. The woman heard. And of course was very sad. But the husband said, that's the doctor's report. Let's go to redemption camp and go and hear the lost report. I decree tonight every evil doctor's report concerning you. I destroy it in Jesus' name. She came during the convention. We were seeing the very first auditorium. And in those days, we were so few. I used to lay hands on everybody who came. And I laid hands on her. And she landed on the floor. And was there for hours. I thought she was sleeping. That she was using the opportunity to just sleep. I didn't know God was performing a miracle in her. By the next year, she came with her baby. See, there is a God who can perform creative miracles. I thank God for the testimony of our pastor from Canada. I don't know if you saw the picture. In the back was broken. Not just broken. I think one or two of the ribs were gone. They joined everything together with iron. I didn't even see him. We just prayed over the phone. And now, by the grace of God, the ribs that were missing are back. The doctors could not believe what happened. I decree to somebody here today everything God needs to recreate to restore you to full health shall be done before I leave this place. And then, we can move forward your soul. Ali lost it your con. We will talk about the soul. A very good example will be Daniel chapter four. You can read it from verse twenty-eight to thirty-seven. Daniel 4 Daniel from verse 28 to 34 or to 37 so because when we are talking about soul we are talking about your mental capacity we are talking about your emotions Emotions, uh, joy, sorrow. Uh, we talk about your ability to understand. Ability to reason. You know, when somebody has been trying to explain something to you, and you suddenly understand you say I see 
Oh, ye me wa ye. ye me ni sisi ye. When you say I see it, it didn't mean that you are blind and now suddenly you your eyes are open. So ba ni ori tabi ko ye re ye o kise ko ju eti fo ni ba kari ta kan ka de de la oloju. You say the, the, that's, that's your soul aspect, your soul eyes that are open. So man Allah oloju e mi Allah oloye ni. When Nebuchadnezzar went under attack, he became like an animal. He thought like an animal. He ate like an animal. He walked about naked like an animal. But then one day, to my Lord, come. the Almighty God in His infinite mercy remembered him. And suddenly, no Gigi. He said, ah, wait a minute, what am I doing here? What am I doing among animals? What am I doing naked? He got a restoration. And from that moment on, what things began to go smoothly. If you read Luke chapter 11, from verse 11, uh, from verse, uh, wait, <laughs> wait a minute. Luke chapter 15 from verse 11 to 25 Luke 15 from verse 11 to 25 you, you hear the story of the prodigal son who thought it was it was enjoying life when he took what belonged to him from his father and went to spend it all. But one day he had a jubilee. Because the Bible said he came to himself. If, 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 Correctly again. What am I doing here? Suffering. I want to go back home to my father. Even if I'm not a son, I, at least as a servant, I will get food to eat. He had a jubilee. When he got home, uh, everything changed. I remember very well when I came to the Redeemed Christian Church of God. I was already a lecturer at the University of Lagos. I came because they told me that God answers prayers in this Commission. And I came with money, money to buy my miracle. I told, but they told me we are not after your money, just surrender your life to Jesus. And for a long time I, I argued with them. What do they what do they know? This semi illiterate. I want you that come on ye. I have uh, I'm a lecturer at the university. All this thing they were calling sin. You know, just enjoyment. But one day, I had a jubilee. Because something told me. Yes, you have all the degrees. But you have a problem that your mathematics cannot solve. 
And these people look at their faces. Look at the peace. Look at the glory of God radiating. And they are not asking you to surrender to them. They are asking you to surrender to your maker. I answered the altar call. Jesus saved my soul. And because that happened that day, that's why I'm standing before you today. My jubilee has not yet ended. It's just continuing. And every one of you that the devil has been messing up your brain, your your understanding. You will have a restoration today. There was a man married to a dangerous wife. And I have good news for somebody. If you are married, if you are married to a demon. God will take over your case today. Amen. If you are a woman and you are married to a demon, God will take care of the situation today. We had the testimony. That the woman got his picture. Took it to a herbalist. Told the herbalist. Married dream. A man. He's rich. He can be generous. But once in a while he becomes too clever. What do I do? And the Abalis did something. Gave her a pot. Put the picture inside the pot. Told the woman. Anytime it's becoming too clever. Cover the pot. It will become sober. But be careful. If you keep him covered for too long, it will become an imbecile. So the woman was uh, controlling the husband that way. Open today, the man will breathe fresh air, and then, as he's beginning to become what he should normally be, he close the pot. One day, during the period when she opened the pot, the man had the gospel. Gave his life to Jesus. The charm was destroyed. The woman covered the pot for as long as she could. It had no effect on the man anymore. I don't know who it is that somebody has been covered up. Whatever it is that is covering you, the fire of God will consume it today. It was when the wife discovered that the charm was no longer working. 
And that the reason was that the husband has given his life to Jesus. That he had discovered there's power passes power. That when she too gave her life to Jesus. She is the one who gave the testimony. Oh, I decree in the name that's above every other name. Every evil force that have been pushing you down. The fire of God will consume tonight. And then let me quickly go on to the spiritual. When we talk about Jubilee spiritual, the best example I can give you is in Second Kings chapter 3. Yeah, all right. Daddy asked me to tell somebody. Daddy, the kids of when you come, the customers will begin to come. I want to buy a red, no bears in my wall. And I think this one is for one of my children who are students. Daddy asked me to tell you whoever that one is. He said you are barely average. He asked me to tell you in the coming session you will be described as a genius. As I was talking about Elisha. Second King chapter 3. From verse 11 to 15. Second King chapter 3. Hmm. Daddy asked me to tell someone. Daddy making software in Every aspect of your life is confused right now. Lord asked me to tell you, I will restructure your life. In 2 Kings chapter 3 from verse 11 to 15, the Bible says some kings came to Elisha because he had a testimony that the word of God was with him. But if you, if you want a prophet to tell you what's going to happen, go to Elisha. And when they got to Elisha, and he saw an idol worshipping king among the kings, he was upset. And God has discovered what this boy can do when he, whenever he's upset. He has killed children before when he was upset. So as soon as he began to speak, and he was getting angrier and angrier. Immediately, the Holy Spirit moved away from him. He had to say, ah, okay, bring me a minstrel. Let me woo back the Holy Spirit. He had the Spirit. 
he lost him. But thank God, he got him back. There are many ministers of God. They had communion with the Holy Spirit before. They can hear him clearly. Something went wrong. And now they can't hear anything. There are some men of God. They pray a simple prayer. The miracles will happen. Something happened. They lost contact. They need Jubilee. For restoration to come. That they must start afresh. Because when we are talking about Jubilee, it is at that spiritual level that the thing is most crucial. Cool <laughs> if you lose it at the spiritual level, it's better to just go. That's why you find some people, when they started with God, they started very well. Things were happening. Miracles were happening. Prophecy was flowing. When they lose it, many of them would then turn to Abalis for power. I pray for all my pastors today. All our ministers. If you have lost it, may God restore you. Amen. You better say amen for them. Amen. Because you are the one who will be affected. So I'm going to pray the prayer one more time. For every minister of God, they are present. If you have lost contact with the Almighty God, or you are no longer as close to Him as you used to be, may today be your day of Jubilee. Some of you have heard my testimony. When I was a baby in Christ, at the University of Lagos, I went to attend a fellowship. We were singing choruses, everything was beautiful. I didn't know most of the song, but I was uh, making a joyful noise with them. And all of a sudden, everything became quiet. As if somebody said, hey, shut up. And then one fellow began to prophesy. Don't serve the Lord. And I, t- I nudged the man who took me there. When did God say that? He says, she, God is talking. I said, I can't hear anything. He said, keep quiet. 
That day after I left the fellowship, I, I prayed to God. I want to be hearing you. I, I want to hear. Is there anybody here who wants to be hearing from God? Cry to him. I said, God, from now on, let me begin to hear from you. So shall it be. It wasn't long after that. That I began to hear from him. He would direct me. Yo, daddy me. Don't go in that direction there. We go slow there. Turn left here. Turn right here. Before I get to church, he would have told me who is going to preach. And he would have told me how what is the text he is going to use. Oh, it was sweet. Then something happened. Because I was probably the most educated in the church at that time. I became the interpreter for my father in the Lord. And when the people saw that I was his interpreter, other pastors left me alone to him. I want to go one family. They, they will take other interpreters. And I was glad. Special interpreter to the general superintendent. Then one day, one pastor came to me before the service. And said, brother, you'll be interpreting for me today. Ah, I was shocked. Who does he think he is? Me? Me? The special interpreter for the general superintendent? I was angry. He no be me. But I interpreted because uh, <laughs> I was just a worker. But if he knew what was going on in me, when he was preaching, he would have asked me to relocate. We finished the preaching. I was on my way to my car. And God spoke. So you are not too big to interpret for my pastor? From that moment, heaven was silent. I pray for every one of you here today. Heaven will not be shot against you. I prayed. I fasted. I told God I'm sorry. I will interpret for anybody from now on. I won't be proud anymore. Silence. There's nothing as terrible as having been hearing from God and you don't hear from Him anymore. Death is better. Finally, one day. I said to God, Restore me these ones. If I'm going to offend you tomorrow, take me away today. 
then God knew he got me. And he began to speak again. And he had been speaking since then. I pray for every one of you. If you have lost contact with God, today will be your day of Jubilee. Amen. And then we said perfect jubilee. I was so Perfect jubilee means physically you have a jubilee mentally you have a jubilee spiritually you have a jubilee because it is possible to have jubilee in the physical you are healthy you are rich you are rich no problem with your marriage. But you may not have jubilee in the in the in the soul. There are people who are healthy. who are rich. And they are always afraid. Because fear is a spirit. And fear can torment. To have a perfect jubilee means you have all round jubilee. And we'll give you just one example and we'll get ready to pray. Ah, thank you, Father. Bye bye, Sheon. The Lord said, There's someone here tonight. You are almost bankrupt. The Lord asked me to tell you, even before the end of this month, your mighty financial breakthrough will come. I was going to give you an example. Mm -hmm. I've been expecting something for myself. <laughs> and at this one, I can say amen to it before amen. I tell you. The Lord asked me to tell someone. He said, You will land safely. I was a healthy man. I was a sportsman. I was a lecturer at the University of Lagos. I had built my first house when I was just around 30. Then my relatives came to me. Ah, the way you are going, we need to fortify you. Because enemies are many. I said that is true. Then they took me to one Habalis in Oshobo. It was uh, a strong man. That's what they said. So we drove to his house. When I saw the house, and I saw the man they brought me to, ah, I think he noticed that I was looking down on him. 
So he said, oh, we uh, when they told him why they have brought me, he said, no problem. I make a charm for you that will protect you from every form of evil. You know, the Bible says, Many people are held in bondage because of fear of death. So this man said, go and bring a goat. And then he added, don't bring the goat in a car. You must lead the goat by hand. <laughs> so I went, I went to Shogo Market. Bought a goat. Lecturer at the University of Lagos. And I was dragging the goat. In the, in the midst of the town. And, and the goat gave me a tall fight. But I was afraid of death. Spiritually, I was in bondage. And the man made the charm. Three of them. He told me to tie one around the steering of my car. Tie one in the boot. If you can see no, you know, call any. And then tie one under my seat. Fake is what you get that. Sabia got him a joke, only in the motto. He said, As I drive, baby, my batting walk on here. I will never collide with anybody in front. Wait, who would be a woman? Why do you want to call you? If somebody is coming from behind, they won't be able to hit me. me. And then he said, if anything should happen. And I was wondering. <laughs> protected in front. Protected behind. What's going to happen again? If, if anything happens. The one you are sitting on. Will just transfer you. Out of the car. I came home thinking, well, I, I'm now secured. Within two weeks, I had three accidents in Lagos. And then tore the three things off and threw into the lagoon. Jubilee is not perfect. Jubilee, if it takes care of your body, takes care of your soul, and does not take care of your spirit. That brings me to the final question. Thank you, Father. Bye bye, Daddy says there's someone. Daddy is a penny company. Who is preparing to die? He asked me to tell you. I will extend your lifespan. 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 I I thank God for my son who preached at the beginning. He has told you, you want Jubilee, you must surrender to the God of Jubilee. You must surrender to the God of Jubilee. I thank him for making that statement ahead of me. But the most important thing about Jubilee is that to have it, you must want it. God made it clear. 
Jubilee is a decree from God when he declares the year of Jubilee nobody can stand in the way but he adds the adds that if anybody says I don't want to be free leave him alone Exodus 21 from verse 1 to 5 Exodus 21 from verse 1 to 5 if I say let all those in bondage bondage go. And somebody says, I don't want to go. Uh, let him remain bondage. If you say you don't want Jubilee, God cannot force you. So how do I show God that I want Jubilee? Number one, hundred percent surrender. Whatever you want from me, oh God, that's what I want. Whatever you ask me to do, that's what I will do. Wherever you want me to go, that's where I will go. Then number two, you have to tell him yourself. You have already declared a year of Jubilee. Include me, Lord. I want it as a person. I want to be free. I want to be free physically. I want to be free materially. I want to be free mentally. I want to be free maritally. I want to be free spiritually. I want to be free. Years ago, God told me. It doesn't matter your anointing. If you say you can't cast out a demon out of somebody who does not want to be free. If the fellow has chosen that he no 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 leave me alone. You can force. You can't force deliverance on somebody who does not want to be free. How many of you want Jubilee tonight? Are you really sure? I'm going to give you 15 minutes to pray. If you like, pray the 15 minutes as if you are joking. If you like, pray it as if your life depends on it. Because Jubilee depends on you. You know, David said, Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of my enemies. That's how far God can go. Set the table before you. If you like, you eat. If you like, Ignore. But before we go to the 15 minutes of prayer, I know my son had already made an altar call. But there might be some of you who came late. 
and now you want to surrender your life to Jesus so that you can be included in the mighty miracle that is about to follow. I will count from one to ten. Because I'm not sure you'll be many. If there is anyone that is yet to surrender his or her life to Jesus, come now. I will count from one to ten. The rest of us are eager to pray. But you can come now. And we are counting. One. Three. I'm not expecting many of you. Some of you have already given your life to Jesus. But in case you came late, or you didn't make up your mind at that time, you better come quickly now. Three. Thank you for those of you who are clapping. Your hands will never wither. You are coming to surrender absolutely to God. No looking back. It's your own choice. The Bible says if, uh, if you are willing and obedient, you will eat the good of the land. You are coming willingly to so surrender absolutely to the God of the Jubilee. Hurry up now. Six. Seven. AJ. Eight. AJ. Now, as you come, begin to talk to Jesus Christ. Yes, in boy, I'm by the my bag, Jesus Christ is all right. I mean business tonight, oh Lord. Now, let you know what the work you are. I've come to surrender completely to you. I am saying from now on, your will be done in my life. Save my soul. Take control of my life from now on. Be my Lord and my Savior forever. Cry unto him. Nine. Now the rest of us, please let's stretch our hands towards these people. I never thought there would still be so many to surrender. Pray for them that the Almighty God will save their souls. The God will give them genuine salvation tonight. And if you are still coming, you have to hurry up now. 
Because we will soon be praying for salvation. Prayers will come. Ask God to have mercy on you. Ask him to save your soul. Pray. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Savior, I want to thank you once again for your word. And thank you for these people who have decided to come to surrender to you and to seek your salvation. Please receive them. Save their souls. Let your blood wash them clean. Today, write their names in the book of life. Receive them into the family of God. And today, as you declare Jubilee, let them be included. In Jesus' mighty name, we are prayed. Amen. Amen. Well, those of you who have come forward, let me hear you shout hallelujah. I rejoice with you. And from now on, by God's grace, I'll be praying for you. The counselors will give you a card. Fill it very quickly. Because we are waiting for you. Your name. Your address. address your prayer request. And then pass it on to the counselors. And go speedily to your to your place. I promise we will be praying for you. I will wait for you for about three minutes before we continue. Now the rest of us, let's begin to thank the Almighty God because right now our destinies are hanging in the balance. Very soon. Like Since we'll never be the same again. So begin to thank the Almighty God in advance for what is about to do in your life. Begin to thank Him.
Thank you, Father. Baba Yeshua. It takes a decree to start a war. It takes a decree to end a war. Tonight, at the appropriate time, we are going to decree your jubilee. Amen. It all depends on who is issuing the decree. If the fellow has the necessary authority, then we are standing before a judge for a case. The moment he says discharged and acuted, you are free. And somebody is going to be free tonight. Amen. But first, you have to pray. You may want to write down your prayer points. Just 15 minutes, that'll be what you, you have. And then I will come and do what God wants me to do. Prayer point number one. I want to thank the God of Jubilee. That he has fixed this day. For your restoration. For your new beginning. Just thank him. Tell number two. AKG. Tell him. I say, Father. From now on, I surrender to you totally. Body, soul, spirit. I'm surrendering everything to you. From now on, I will never argue with you again. I want my own jubilee now. So for a long time, Baba, move or do it. That's it. Jubilee, it means nothing. My f- body, my soul, my spirit. I want perfect jubilee. Number four. Everything I have lost. Whether through my carelessness, or it had been stolen by the enemy, before the sun rises, restore them to me fully. Number five. You can run. I 
Once I'm free today, ni kete ti mo ba ti ki omiri ni ra lato ni lo. Anything I can do, on ko ti mo ba le she. That will send me back into bondage. Eyi to ma wa da mi pada sinu oku eru sinu igbeku. Father, don't let me ever do it again. Oluwa ma je she mo lai lai. And then number six. Ekefa. In all my actions, from now on, let it be a new beginning in you. In all my actions, let a brand new beginning. The way I serve you, the way I praise you, the way I obey you, let it be a brand new beginning for me. You. And then finally, Lakuton, you will cry to him. Father, we are many here. Baba, Aponihi. Please, Jawa, remember me tonight. me, Laleyi. Remember me specially. Ranti me dam dami yob your missy cosy da ranti me lon out or tall. Then if there's any special area where you you know you need that restoration urgently. To bow I depe or no corner wa to ranti pe or ni lo it as a le tabi mubuk para bosipo ni kokon. Maybe it is physical. And uh, they say it is because of old age that we have lost certain things. Anything, anything you want to add. 50 minutes. The altar is open. Come and cry to God. What for just fifteen minutes? Who is you
Thank you, Lord. Glory be to God. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Oh, Lord, thank you. You remain where you are. I do not be tell why. Stand on your feet. I did the Lord yes. And those of you who have your smartphones with you. Switch on the touch. Because the first jubilee that the world had had happened at the very beginning when God said let there be light before then there was darkness there was confusion there was emptiness but the moment God said let there be light so when he came to your Lord so he became a like you are everything changed if you don't have your touch like that the rest of us we will stand in for you see a rough phone row but you need to see about you cool I want you cool for you I grew up for you but those of us who have our own you will wave it. Again, that's okay. If you don't have your own, just wave your hand. I shout. I shout. Say, Hallelujah. In the next one minute, by the authority vested in me by the Almighty God, we are going to declare your jubilee. Please, please. Don't take this moment lightly. Mafia kukui, chefeo. Because everything's about to shift. Nitori. But before I make the declaration, Kiwato Pasheno. The trumpet will be sounded. When, whether you go to church or you go to register, to marry, there will be all forms of celebrations. Amen. Amen. In the church, they will sing choruses. They will pray. They will read the Bible. All kinds of 
similar things. But until the priest says, I declare you husband and wife. Everything previous is just uh, preparation. All we've been doing since Monday. Is preparation for this minute. So get ready, please. Let the trump, let the trumpets blow. In the name that's above every other name, I declare your year of jubilee begins. Your restoration begins. Your new beginning begins. So shall it be. Then you read in Jesus' mighty name I decree. As soon as the year of the Jubilee has been decreed, the next thing is rejoicing. Go ahead. Go ahead. Rejoice. Because of time. Actually, what we should have done is just keep on rejoicing till daybreak. But because of time. Let's combine two things. The first thing is we want to thank God. Because whether you believe it or not, it is already done. We want to thank God after which I want to release Jubilee anointing into your handkerchiefs and even the dress you are wearing. So you may get ready your Thanksgiving offering and get ready your 
handkerchiefs ati aso in dujuwa for jubilee anointing fu ke fami oroyan ti odun inda sile very quickly like eh get your thanksgiving offering ready e je ki amu ore wa lati se ore idupe wa ya mu jade the ushers will present us with baskets the rest of you those of you who are in front move so that eyin te wa ni wa je je apada saye wa i can see your handkerchief wherever you are so move e ti apada saye wa allow the ushers to place their baskets ki awon eso le ri bi pe apere ti won fe fi gba ore si e je apada saye wa ejo please go back to your seats Oh Lord, thank you for tonight. Baba, you tell us what you want. Shall we? Glory be to your holy name. Oh God, if we look at me, my. Tomorrow night there be perfect anointing. Me ola, me a shale ola. If I'm iroroyan, you pay your wani. So you are welcome for the. I send on the cake. Itorina, ki awa fun ito ibele to keyi. Lola. We will dance to the nearest basket to us. How do lo si bi agbere tin belegbe wa drop our thanksgiving offering. A si mu ore ope wa le nibe. And then we'll get out our handkerchiefs after that. Nitori na leyin yen awa mu aso niju wa jade. All right. Our shares help us. Over to you, Ben. Big, big God, mighty God. Big, big God, oh, mighty God. Big, big God, oh, is the mighty God. Big, big God, mighty God. Jesus Christ is a mighty God, big, 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 big God, mighty, mighty, mighty God. Yeah. Jesus Christ is a mighty God, big, big God, oh, big, big God, mighty, oh, mighty, mighty God. Yeah. Jesus Christ is a mighty God. Is a mighty God, God of perfect jubilee, God of mighty God. Hey, Jesus Christ is a mighty God, big big God, big big God, mighty God. Jesus Christ is a mighty God. Oh, big big God, oh, big big God. Jesus, 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 
Just happened. You will dance. You will dance. Amen. Amen. And now lift up your handkerchiefs. I'm going to be praying in the spirit for a couple of minutes. Mama, the Jubilee anointing that will be going into all these uh, pieces of cloth that are lifted up. If I'm rolling or doing that, one now one shot and not okay. It's such that OJ Ray, OJ will be anywhere there is stagnation. It be keeping it, do it, do it, Ribawa. When you wave this handkerchief, acceleration will come. Anywhere you suspect that maybe the enemy is attacking. And you wave this handkerchief. There will be shouts of victory. Yeah. 
Shagun yo wani be. When you feel cornered, nigba to bada bi to wani hamo. And you wave this handkerchief. The one now so you do is okay. Suddenly waist will open. No jiji. Oh no, I better sing it loud. So just, so just for for two three minutes. Come be judge me this matter. As I pray in the spirit, you know the man fear the evil that you got to run. You just keep on saying, "Amen." You want to say, "Amen"? So are we ready? That is it, huh? Thank you, Father. In the mighty name of Jesus. Remo kosheke tramanka runde teremo kuchunda. Remo kosheke rema kuto kurunde terema kasha kuchunda. Kete remo kurunde rema mato kusho remo kusha katende. Kete kete kurumo kosheke runde kete remo kushunda. Mama mo kurunde teremo kosheke randa. Mako ronde ke remo ko ronde ke remo ko shete tende remo ko chanda Rema kaka ko romo ko shete Eke remo ko ronde remo ko shete ronde remo ko ronde ke remo ko shete Eke ke remo ko ronde Eke ke remo ko shete tanda Eke ke remo ko ronde remo ko shete tende remo ko shanta Mama kaka kurunde re, moko runde re, moko shete chende re, moko chende re. Mante te te runde, te re moko runde re, moko shete re, moko chende re. Te re moko shako chende re, te 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 re mama, moko nde shete re moko chende re, te 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 re moko shanta re. Thank you Jesus. Thank you Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Amen. 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 In a manner that even the devil will hear you. Say it, I receive. It's okay. Moriba. Say it again. I receive. Motiriba. So time. Say I receive. So let it be Moriba. Father, thank you. Baba Shew. Oh Lord, I thank you. Daddy, Moriba, Dupe, Dupe Shew. Thank you for. Your mercy. I do pray for anointing. Thank you for remembering us. I do pray for anointing. Thank you for visiting us. I do pray for bewawo. Thank you for anointing me. I do pray for fear me. Roronya me. Thank you for the grace to share. I do pray for all your faith in Beni. Bless the offerings of your children. I do pray for all your money. Like never before. Juta te iwalo. Prosper them. In Jesus' mighty name, I have prayed. Amen. Now, the biggest hallelujah you have ever shouted. Hallelujah to God, you told to get to get it. God bless you.